Montreal is a generous, fertile ground for creativity to emerge. It's an incredible movement of a lot of designers that are working together, making things happen. It's a city that is very open and you can do whatever you want. In. Narrative design is telling stories using various design disciplines like fashion, objects, interactive installations, just making people feel and move them. Well, at Daily Tourism, we work interaction design and participation is the, is the thing that wakes us up in the morning. One of the things that drives the work at Daily Tourism is to try to engage people in their environment and in the different contexts in which they, they evolve or bump up against each other. What interests me and the product that I develop is the one that we keep uh, for generation. I also like to work with rare material and uh, meeting people in my work like craftsmen. And with them, it, it become really interesting to push further, further and further project. Au Ditopi, on, à la base, c'était de réfléchir à la ville, réfléchir à la ville à travers le son. On crée des parcours sonores ou des installations immersives. On fait souvent l'analogie avec le cinéma sans images, où la ville est, est le décor. Well, we focus on the object in the public space. It could be uh, urban furniture, uh, furniture indoor, outdoor, office furniture, etc. We think that objects in the public space can contribute to bring people together and live better together. The Phyllis Lambert grant is a, is a grant that's given to a young designer. It's, uh, it's a way to actually taking some time uh, off your, your work and spending time doing research. It changed uh, my life in a way. It's traveling, taking pictures of uh, vernacular design, and it was an opportunity to become an ambassador for design in Montreal. When the grant came in, it really solidified and kind of gave us the confidence to put ourselves 100% um, in our practice and in our design. We put pressure on us to deliver amazing projects. 